I, I tried all this shit whenever I worked in, when I was working in produce. Right? Raw rhubarb. That's uh, very tart. It's just no, no cucumber. No, I hate cucumber. I like broccoli. I love broccoli. Cabbage is fine. I don't look for it, but I'll eat it. Um, not a coleslaw, but if it's like in a little bit in something, I'm, it's whatever. Like in a salad. Um, zucchini and, and yellow squash, no. <coughs> not really any squash. I'm allergic to pumpkin, too. Yeah, you're but like, about that. Yeah, but, but like I don't... I can eat it. I can't touch it. The insides? So I can handle them fine. So technically, can you eat it? Well, raw, I've never tried, but I've eaten pumpkin pie and shit like that. Yeah, so I know I've consumed pumpkin stuff. That's preservatives and flavorings. Yeah. So. Which, you know what? Anytime I've... I have had actual pumpkin pie people have bought frozen and made at their home. But I don't get it, because it just tastes like fucking whatever the spices are you put in it. Pumpkin has no taste. <coughs> yeah, it does. It has a good taste. <sighs> Barely. It's the, all the shit I've had. It's just the spices they throw in there. I don't know the spices. Cinnamon and some shit. I don't know. My phone. Oh. <coughs> but yeah. Oh, there's only a few foods that I hate. Like hate. Like act actively avoid. Yeah. All right. So. Oh, I thought you were gonna continue. Uh, you start playing. You touched it. Oh. I was just gonna do something visually. Go ahead. I gotta learn to crop these, by the way, so that there's not so much black on the, on the posted videos. <coughs> hey, you'll see updates. I'll be, I'll be working on that. Yeah, everybody's gonna see more and more. Oh, I was using this to practice speedruns. <coughs> Where's this? This one's done. Yeah, this one's this one's a speed run at the end. Yeah, two bottles. Okay, we'll get rid of this one. Yeah, use it to practice speed runs. You can see different chunks of hearts and the swords change their his gear. So welcome, <coughs> welcome. Uh, this is number seventy of the two hour hub look. And hey, what are we playing? Uh, hold up. <coughs> Zelda No Densetsu Japan 1.0. Which is? Going to the past. Japan, Japan. But in Japan. J Japanese. It's Japanese. Japanese because the text is faster, what little text there is. And 1.0 is where you got the glitches. Some of the glitches I'm going to do. So you're going to go for your fastest time? Hell no. I couldn't do that anymore. By the way, I love how it's player select in English and then kill. We're going to kill off number three. Kill okay. Uh, I don't remember the characters. So I'm just going to go with one I think is a funny face. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's not offensive at all. I don't understand any of this. I picked th this one a lot and this one. These are some big smiley boys. But this one's just a guy being like... He's trying. He's, he's giving you an, his impression of an air horn. Is, is what that face tells me. <laughs> so this text is faster. You don't have any clue what it says. Uh, it's Zelda telling us to come to the dungeon to free her, and then the six maidens, and one something, the seven crystals. <clears throat> I have an idea what it says. I'll keep going. You're gonna... And then your uncle, I think it's your uncle, he, he sees you wake up and he says, you stay here, I'm gonna go save her. Like he knew too. I don't know. It was just mass message to the entire room. Kinda. See, this is already this is already off time because you don't get that box. Also, my controller sucks ass. Shit, I can't speed run wirelessly. I need the wired. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm, I'm switching to the wired, man. I can't. Some of these, some of the glitches I'm gonna try are actually kind of kind of tough. Uh, they're kind of tough. I run I run basic. Speed running. My best time is an hour forty. Um, knowing that I can easily shave ten minutes in just changing up a strategy here and there, but I know the basic uh, course to do. But you've already lost time because you switched controllers. I lost time because I switched controllers. You don't open the box in Link's house. Uh, when I tried to leave, I pressed down on the door. You, I gotta walk sideways. I'm gonna moonwalk some parts of this game. I'll point them out when I do it. Because uh, I need to be that. I need wired shit to be that precise for some of my tricks. Um, but see, I'm, 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 I'm as far down as I can be right now. 
I am I'm clipping down on that wall. Okay, so story. Uh, he, he, take he, this. He go get her. Save her. He just died. Kinda. There's a box over there we never get. You can get it for the magic. You can go for the magic, but it's not important. You run out here. You go do this guy. I'm gonna show off. I'm gonna show off another trick that's really cool. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna take about two minutes, but we'll have to reset the game after we do it. Uh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Check this shit. Uh, there we go. What was that? It's a trick. Just sit back and enjoy. Uncle's gone. Yes. So here's what you do. You jump off that ledge, you save in midair. Okay. The game has me on a different axis. I am floating. Air quotes, floating. Okay. I I am yes. Between two levels. I kinda, yeah, I'm I'm floating. And then what you do is you cannot take a single point of damage because it will bump you down off your platform. So I'm still floating. We're good. Stairs are fine. Doors are fine. This is fine. I'm still floating. What you do is you come in here. You go, you go to this guy here while you're floating. So you can't take damage. You, you piss him off. Look out the window. And then he stabs you. And you clip into the wall. So then you just kind of herd a dirt your way up here, whatever, you know. So you're just in the wall. I'm in the wall. I'm in the left wall. I'm about to go up a room. So you're just holding up? You're no. You're kind of jumping around? I, I am I am walking between areas. Frames. You can see down at the bottom. There I am. God. There I am. Okay. If I press up, I will jump out and I will be trapped in this area with none of the gear you need when you get there. Jesus. But that's not what we do. We just do-do-do. Oh, too far. Hang on. <coughs> what? I've never seen this with the lamp, actually. I don't know what room this is. But I'm not going to fuck with it. Because we need to go back. We want to we wanna still be in this room. <coughs> it's right up here. We go up. And then it shifts up to this unused room. I'll explain those in a minute. Teleporting in? No, there there's a shadow. So there's a boss. Or something there. No, these are completely unused. All of these. So they're just in the game. Yeah. I'll explain why. This one is in the game. This is below Ganon. If he knocks you off, this is where you end up at the very end. There's Ganon's music. There's floor tiles and walls similar to his. And there's Ganon shaking his fist at us. And now we've beaten the game. I got the Triforce. I won. Eight minutes. Including us recording, talking, bullshit, bam, game over. I won. Done. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that trick. Oh, Chris had a fucking demo thing uh, on the, I think, Wii U, where it was you put an amiibo on the gamepad and you unlock a demo for a random Super Nintendo or NES game. And one of them that he unlocked was this one. And I was kind of an ass about it. And I'm like, dude, give me the fucking controller right now. And he, he hands it over and he watched me do that. Those demos have a three minute timer on them. I beat the timer. I went, start, finish. There's Gan. Fuck you. Triforce, done. And I had like 20 seconds left. Three minute demos. And I was faster than the demo. Yeah! So you've beaten that game in three minutes. Yeah, I just did it right in front of you. <laughs> I've done it so many times. You know that part, party trick, a nerd gamer party trick where you had me run Super Mario World? My first deathless run was at one of your parties? That's a cool party trick. Look, start to finish. Here I am. Zelda, that, that, that's a cool trick too. If somebody has it, like, like nobody really knows what's going on or what they're doing. There's a Wii <coughs> on. I would take it. If I saw a link to the past, I'd go, hey guys, check this shit. And in three minutes, start to finish, done. Because it worked, it worked on the Wii. But anyway, here we are. We're gonna, we're gonna say we're at nine thirty, uh, ten minutes. Yeah, we'll say we'll just say we're at a flat ten minutes when I actually start the round. Um, so what it is, that what makes that trick work is the map is laid out, tile to tile. Yeah. Fuck, missed him. Oh, I don't want this. I'm used to random. <laughs> you, ne I never pick up a map. A map or a compass. I don't need them. They're garbage. Um, 
The whole map for Super Nintendo in order to make this game work is laid out in one giant sheet, essentially. And so those rooms that you don't see in the game that you saw there, they are just there as like spacers so that you can lay it out and it's even and nothing clicks into something else. Whoops, wrong, I missed, I missed the, the charge. Let's see if I can get this one. This, one, this one's a, a, a fun trick. Flip lap. What's the trick? So I one shot him, and as he's dying, I hit the boomerang there, and the key's right there at, at the door for me. Yeah. That, I, I did that for about two hours to get that right, in order to learn how to do that. You also, you're going to see some bad menu management from me in the speedrun, uh, because I'm not good at the menu. I don't practice the menu enough. And it, practicing the menu is just navigating it. That's bad. That's a bad night there. Uh, I never learned the the correct space for this fuck. Uh, so I, I used the cheap method of two pots. But you, you two pot and then key. They can't just let it touch the ground. Open. You can, but it's faster to boomerang it or touch it. Oh. People knock the knight into the door. People better than me. What, he unlocks the door? Yeah, they kill him the way I killed the blue knight. That's where you get, would get the lamp, by the way, because it's closest. Fuck off. <laughs> um, you're never going to see a no damage run from me. I'm not. I'm never going to be that good. Um, yeah, people will knock that knight into the door, but he does an attack that spins around him, and I never learned the timing. I just didn't put in, put in any practice time to it. But uh, that's much faster. That's the optimal. That would probably save me 10, 15 seconds. And sec saving seconds is massive. Guys like guys like me doing this, we played this game to clip out 10 frames. That was huge to clip 10 frames. I could clip 15 seconds if I learned optimal night night fight. I didn't clip the, ch the chest hard enough there. Stop me if I'm going too fast for you. That's fine. I, I clipped the door wrong there. There's there's a couple frames I could have saved just by getting the door right. That's a good door. Th this is what I did. is I, I practiced and I just like tried to get in the doors fast. That's it. Right there, that zigzag. That was sloppy, but you zigzag like that. You, you save time if you zigzag when you make turns like that. Jesus. You run up here. I got to push this thing out of the way. I can never get this timing right either. I think it's. I think it's. I can see you on Twitch. For almost like hours three. Trying to run this game and trying to get you each performance and a half. better and better. Yeah, I would. Right here, there's rats that can run, so you never want to be close to the wall. Here's a safety heart if you need it. A room full of snakes. You just gotta get through them. The damage sponges. So this is your favorite game. Yeah. I love it's. It's like the songs I, I learned. I told you wh when you picked up the bass, fucker. Bad snakes. Bad snakes. Bad RNG. This is a key. Um, when I told you to pick a song that you would never get tired of playing thousands of times to get it right, um, it's the same as speedrunning. I've played this game thousands of times, and I don't. I will play it if I have the time. And somebody says "Link to the Past," I will play it. I will never get tired of this game. Right here, it's always this mouse. And then optimal, you rang it as you come back. So if key flies, whatever that trick is called, floaty key, I don't know. But mine was very sloppy. Now we're in this room. Right here, the, these mice are kind of a pain. Those bats always swoop outward to the right so you're safe against the wall. Quarter heart damage doesn't show on it with mouse like that. If you hold right, you skip a text box right there. That saves a lot of time. This is always the correct answer. <sighs> story. What's the story? Um, I don't know who this guy is. He's like the uh, whoever priest at the church. Mm -hmm. uh, but he's trying to save Zelda too. Uh, I think he's linked to the royal family. You know, like um, uh, what's her name? In Inga? Not Inga. In in a link to the past, the Sheikah. I think, I think she's a sheep. I don't know. Um, whatever. People know who I'm talking about. Link to the Past, her uh, safety heart. You usually skip this. I'm low. I'm going to collect a lot of shit and waste some time, but it, I'll be prepared for shit. 
Uh, but yeah, he's just kind of there, linked to the royal family. He's trying to help save Zelda. Uh, you never go left, you always go to the right. You clip down around some corners and you get down to the Eastern Palace level 1. I want some stuff though. Sick dodge. That knight would have gotten me. Jesus. Uh, I don't, I don't need what's up. Oh, yes I do. Fuck. I'm so used to randomizers, so I'm a little fucked up. Uh, as far as which way I should be going, which way I can be going. So you challenge yourself worse by randomizing items? Uh, it's a puzzle. It's a lot of fun. It's great time. I actually do want the mushroom too while I'm up here. Um, it's a good, it's a good time. This is a heart. This is a heart piece. Like I know all the items. The randomizer took that heart piece and would make it like the book. So you have to check all that shit. Or the map. Uh, in in dungeons, yes, chests can be maps. Chests can be not maps. I've had I've had so many boss drops be maps. Here's the mushroom. You don't know what that would be in random. Could be a set of bombs, which would be great. Um, bombs are a little tough to get in vanilla. I think you can purchase them. I never have enough money to purchase them. But that's what makes the randomizer. I, I want that actually. That's what makes the randomizer special. Is um, that can happen. I've had runs with the randomizer where I'm level three sword. Uh, fucking five minutes in. Just cause the luck. You need like three key things to have that happen. <coughs> Damn. Well, that green roof house, we'll be coming back to that. Here's the town well. We're in Kakariko. Um, I don't know why it's the well. It's just called the well. It's got water. But here's some bombs. Bombs are gonna sit probably here for, I don't know, 20 minutes at least. Here's money. Five. Twenty. 5, 20, in random, you could get glove, boots, sword. It's a lot of fun. Money, heart, heart piece. That's half. Money. Do you want to break the other jar? No, that's a heart. Did you see that great money pickup, though? Yeah. That was a good time. I believe these are hearts. Yep. If there were fives, I'd pick them up. But there is hearts. Uh, so we got that. Uh, we're gonna, we need the money to visit a guy in town who sells you a bottle. In random, he might sell you Ether Medallion. I, I know it's whoops, bad bad timing. You, you throw that first. Um, yeah, I'll I'll use all these items. You'll see by the end of the night, you're gonna know this game front and back. <laughs> not not front and back, but you'll have seen it front and back. Uh, random that could be fucking four sets of bombs. I've seen it. I've done a lot of randoms. Check out my channel. Link in the description. Blip lap. Three quarters hard. Fifteen dollars. Bad clip door. And you never have enough money, but you know exactly where all the money is. I know where a lot of the money is. Um, so these chairs are pointless. The, the, right, right now we need them because as we come down here, we're at one ninety-one. I didn't need that much, but this guy for hundred, he sells you a bottle. It's the easiest bottle to get. Um, well, no, it's not the easiest bottle to get. Uh, that shed has a box that always fucked me in random because I didn't know about it since it's irrelevant to this run completely. I didn't even know it was there. Bottle. So this is the easiest bottle. The sh that that guy is the second easiest bottle because he only wants a hundred bucks. Once you have a bottle, you come up here to the sick kid. Why a bottle? I don't know. But he checks your inventory. If you have if you have a bottle, he wakes up and he gives you the bug catching net. There's a fun fact about the bug catching net that I will point out when the time comes. But what you do is you use the net, you can catch fairies, put them in your bottle. So why does he care about a bottle? I don't know. But for the game, it kind of tells you, hey, bottle, net. Mix them. Well, he obviously saw it. One bottle. He had a bottle. Y yeah. If that's what he does for fun, or whatever. I don't know. It, it is he just fucking fairies and bottles. Yeah. It, it is confirmed. His name is Sick Kid. Yeah. How did you know to blow that up? Uh, I played this when I was a kid. I knew this. This one of my earliest memories is knowing that. Jesus. It's a great place to pick up easy hearts. That was a good five dollar grab, or not hearts, bombs. You can get arrows here too. You don't need arrows yet, but it just always shows up. Yeah. And the middle one's always empty every time. Mice are good money too, by the way. There's a, there's twenty. Jesus. You Typ just, typically, you mice drop fives. You just grind this out? To know all this? No, for that. Oh, that? Yeah, a little bit. Because now I'm at eight bombs. I'm going to go... I'm going to show you that one box that fucked me in random. Because I don't know what's in it. I have no <coughs> clue. I think it's money. 
Uh, we're going to come back to that old lady and we're going to see something cool with her too. She's crazy. She has a lot of chickens. You know, there's a chicken in here, I believe. Nope. But yeah, there's a box. Arrows. Completely irrelevant to the speedrun. But in random, you have to get it because it could be fucking anything. It could be the Pegasus boots. Those are so important. There's a secret about her I'm going to show you later. Him. You can't catch him till you have the Pegasus boots and then um, he kind of just tells you a little secret. I don't remember what it is. It's a, it's a helpful trick, but I, I don't remember what exactly it is he tells you. That's the library. We're going to come back in there when we have boots. You hear the fighting twins' house? They, they, they blocked up the, the hole in the wall. That was, that was a, okay, bomb toss. They blocked up the hole in the wall because they're fighting. So you got to break through. And then this lady says, hey, if you can make it through here in 15 seconds, you get a prize. Check this shit. If you have time to read this, you should run to the finish right now. Something like that. Eight seconds. Have a heart piece. Five hearts. Jesus. <laughs> Random fucking... Could be the moon pearl. The moon pearl is crucial in this game. Could have been there. So there we go. There's a little mini game right there. Shoot arrows. It's, it's alright. So do you try to randomize this and try to beat it as quick as possible? Buddy. Yeah. It's good practice. So if you had perfect RNG, what would it be? If you had perfect RNG, I have no idea because it would. Pr I'm pretty. Oh, I'd, right. I don't have the glove. I'm an idiot. Um, they despawned the night though. Um, I don't know. The world record was one hour twenty three minutes for years. For the um, random? No, for vanilla. For this. Yeah. Um, but it, somebody beat it recently. I think it was. I was still under review when I first heard about it. Um, but I would assume if, you know, it's 123 has been established for years I believe that it's going to be something more like an uh, hour maybe? I don't know there's a cool trick I would show you here but I don't have the mirror so I'll just grab these bombs you know you take these bombs you leave come back and now they reset Ooh, good door. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know, I know. I know this game. Bad clip. Bad door. Hard piece. Just random? It's always here. Okay. Mm-hmm. Go over here. Drop down. Do, 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 do. I don't remember what this is called. I want to say like Seaside Cave or something. So what's your second favorite Zelda? Z second favorite Zelda? Probably Link's Awakening. Which one was that? It was on Game Boy. It was the first one on Game Boy. Here, fun fact. It's really easy. You can you can just walk along the edge there. Only on the bottom. You'll be safe. But you have to be, you have to be on the wall. In random, I usually throw bombs. I don't need that money. But here's a cool trick. Tic Tac. Missed it. <laughs> Tic Tac missed it. Yeah, you can throw the boomerang at, at weird angles. It also stays there and waits for you in text boxes from here. I can quick turn and throw it at, a, at an angle like that. You know, just real quick. Or if I'm, you know, ooh, item, you know. What's with the dude? Oh, he's just there. I think he gives you an <coughs> item, actually. I thought he tells you to stay out of his cave. No, he had 300 bucks. No. Glad you talked to him? No, all these are completely irrelevant. I'm only doing them to show you what st <laughs> where stuff is. Don't need to go there at all. In random, you do, because it's five more items. Um, but here? Fucking, who cares? Dude, fuck off. <laughs> See? Quick turn boomerang. I've practiced boomerang a lot. Right there, get that guy at an angle. <laughs> it's This is why I wanted wired. That was a good clip there. Uh, I'm going to show you another trick on the way back, actually. Right, right there in that spot. Randomizer, they change those guys. They always give hearts. Vanilla, they drop money a lot. Crabs do two hearts. Crabs suck a dick. I hate crabs, man. I always hide from them as I'm waiting for this fucking bomb. But we need to go in here. I probably should have done all this shit after I got Pegasus boots. It's fine, though. Here's the ice rod. You just need to explore, 
to find this, you have practically the entire game before you need it. You need it for Trinex at the very last dungeon. So you have that whole time. If you never fucking explored this area, you weren't playing the game right. I guess. It's kind of hard way to put that, but... Just very... Uh, net. If you come in here... Is the two jars that you have? Yeah, fill them up. If you come in here when you have the boots, you can run into this, and that's where you get the good bee. The good, there's another door. That shows you the ice rod. Oh. That's your hint to tell you to bomb. Fuck off, crabs. None of your shit! Ooh, that's right. Fuck you, crab. You have a fucking net in your thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can you capture the bomb? No, you can't do stuff like that. Here, let, let's see how long it takes me to clip to fake flipper. Yes, second try. Fake flippers. I'm not allowed to swim yet. So how are you faking it? You clip right there. On that the edge of that screen, you can probably do it in other places, but that's the one I do it on. Uh, you dip into the water, and you have one frame of animation before it pulls you out of the water, because you're not supposed to do that. So it puts you back on dry land. By the way, this is shallow water right there. You can stand on that later. But the game... I again, that floating thing I was showing you, mm -hmm. clipping to the end of the game, because here's your animation. Mm. Flip lap, you're back. You have one frame to clip to the next one, and then it goes, well, you're still in the water, so I guess you're okay. <laughs> and then you have fake flipper. Y you swim under here, guy gives you a bottle. And then a lot of people frown on this, but in speedruns I save warp. Because I can't get out from there now. Unless you save and quit. And then we are... Is it this one? Yes. Link's house again. How far back is that? Uh, do, do, do. Give me a second. Oh wait, this is kind of the medium pool, isn't it? Yep. Because you always come back to this area? Yeah. So you were done with all those caves and then you just kind of dipped back as quickly as here yeah. As possible? Yeah, there's the lake. Here's the bridge we just swam under. Yeah. Yeah, we're right here. Just like that, we're done. I save warp a lot. A lot of people frown on but you just play a different category. I play save warps. So, if I'm allowed to do it, everybody in that category is allowed to do it. And if they don't want you to do it, it's a separate category. The times are different. It's it's just your ethics on it, I guess. There's a way to put it. This guy. Bam. Instant freeze. I, I don't think I could have clipped that better. I think I think that was perfect frame. But these guys, they, they awaken and then they come at you. A lot of people clip past that guy somehow. I don't know how. I just, I just used the second to rang him. Jesus. Fuck. You can pick this up. You don't have to move to the side. You save frames by just going straight. You can still get it. Here's a button. These guys drop money too. Uh, right up here on the right, we have a chest that you'll never see. It's money. Random. So in the speed run, it would be random. Ran it, it, no, the speed I'm doing the speed run right now. I mean, we also the randomizer would be random. Yeah, so you'd have to check it. Uh, normal. That's a safety heart. It's faster to go up and down to pick up that pot and hit the door. Uh, back the way where it forked is where the, uh, I believe the compass is. But I don't need it. You come up here. Don't go left at all. You come straight down right here. You get a dude before he spawns. And then you get the other one perfect. The pot prevents the third one from spawning, so you only have to kill two. Here's the map. <laughs> There's Stone to talk to Sahasrila. I call him Salsa Rash. Those guys only die to arrows and pots. There's the big chest where the bow is. We'll be back. Right here, it's optimal to tap to get this. Lined up. Good clip. You run through here. I can't believe you're in for this game. You hit this button. You go in here real quick. I, I missed the door pretty bad. You come up here. It's always under this pot back here. Watch Skellyman's key. Not bad. Nothing in the pots. Uh, maybe hearts. You come back out here. If you're on the left, you bypass the button. Money. Those guys for, are good for money, too. Go to the left. You bypass that button. It saves a second. Good to know. I think that's 50 bucks is what was in that box. Here's the opening room. We came back. You come up here. You come into this room. You damage boost off this guy. allows you to pick up the pot. And there's, there's his box. I've done that on three hearts. It's hard to do. <coughs> but I got the big key. I don't have to do the puzzle of the room. Fuck you, room. 
optimal, you do that room in like, I don't know, five seconds. And then, you, normally, if you, if you killed all that shit like the game wants you to, 30 seconds, a minute. Fuck that, we don't have time for that shit. Here's the bow. I'm gonna, um, bow. Four skellymans drop down, their heads follow you. You can die if they get you here. I'm gonna safety heart. Fucking, they, they did get me. It's cool, man. Don't worry. Shit happens. Very. Net one fairy. I shouldn't have swapped bow. Here we are. Good one. Good one. By the way, we clipped perfectly. There's no music playing. Interesting. The game's confused. So you actually got plus one fairy for doing that. Yep. Music's back. <laughs> three bottle fairies. Three of three. You come in here, there are these guys, I'm bad at this room, you kill them, shoot him, key, run, magic. On the other side there's another room that's unlocked, it's got blue rupees in it I believe. Here's some anti-fairies, button is down in the bottom left, the rest are hearts, arrows, whatnot. Here are these guys, bottom button, you can clip through his head to get it. This room, you're being shot at, top left, bam. Two Skellymans and a Red Boy. Red Boy sucks. He takes two arrows. That's the only thing in the entire game is two fucking arrows. You cannot substitute. It's a pain in the ass. Charge up a spin attack when you walk in this room and you can get six kills in one shot. Double arrow here. Bam. I've beaten this boss in 16 seconds. I'm not going to do it again, but I'll be close. Nope. Terrible. Terrible. Fucked it. Fucker. Bad show on that one. <laughs> There's a trick you can pick that up higher up on the screen. It falls from the ceiling, which would be technically this way. It falls from the ceiling. If you're higher up, there's a trick. You can pick it up much faster. You save a couple seconds there, too. Jesus. I showed you. Nobody else could see it. I was pointing at the TV. But uh, that's, that's a thing. So we beat that, that's Eastern Palace, we come through here, jump down, we're going to Sahasrila's hut where we're going to get a speedrunner's favorite item, the Pegasus boots. Bad clips. Story, uh, Link, you need to save the seven maidens, the, get the three pendants and then, and then you can go and get the crystals and other bullshit, I don't know. Talk to me when you need advice. By the way, hey, I saw you have the pendant here, have some boots. Sick kick, son. Make sure, press A. A to run. This is a bomb crack, but if it has the big circle on the outside, you can dash into it. Save a bomb. These are bombs and money. By the way, every time you pick up bombs in a three pack out of a box, it tells you to set them with A the entire game. So why is Pegasus boots your favorite item? Oh, you can run. So are you running right now? No. Oh. Check this trick. We're gonna get rid of this guy, because fuck him. Fuck off. Just to be safe. Uh, Alright, so check this. I'm bad at it, so bear with me. Come on. Nope. Come on, give it to me! Ooh, ooh, did I get it? Okay. I did a spin dash. So you hold your on your sword, you spin, and you have one frame to exactly hit A for Pegasus boots. You confuse the game. My sword's disabled, and then you go to any of these slow ramps like this, and take the fuck off! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, dude! So it's infinite run. It is until you jump off a platform. So you go down this way, you go right off here. And the advantage of that is the Pegasus boots, there's grass to tell you where to line up there. There's, the Pegasus boots only go straight. If you hit an angle, you will go along that angle. Nice. Perfect. You could go straight, but you it won't. Oop. Nah, I'm already halfway there. I typically save warp here. You will go straight. The spin dash tricks the game. Whoop. Double bush. <laughs> you can hit double bushes and bounce back. Uh, f 
the spin dash, you can run, and you can maneuver like this. But you're fast. Like that. So you doing the frames cause this? You, doing the, the frame perfect trick there gives you that. You can do it on any of these slow ones. I can do it here. It's just the timing I'm bad at. Any of these slow, perfect, dude, nailed it, perfect. Any of those slow ones like that, you can do it on. And as soon as it stops, as soon as you jump off something. Or get hurt, I think. Good book. I could have done it better. There's another, there's a faster way to get book, but that was a good, that was lined up probably the best on the bookshelf I could get. Uh, take off. We need the book to open the desert. Uh, running in this area, not advantageous to you. You gain on your run. You gain four blocks out. Everything, you, I don't know if you can see it, but everything is kind of laid out in blocks. Mm -hmm. um, if it's more than four blocks, holding A for that charge saves the time. So it's worth it there, but only by like one or two blocks. It's more frame tricks. Running through water, people don't like to do because it slows you down. Stabbing bushes slows you down too, but that's cutting the grass. That's what it is. You can run right over here and right here. Fucking, if Bunny doesn't get you, you can just slide into this. It's a really easy one to get. You can run up here, you get this. This is real fast and easy. Line up with this grass. Dude, I'm actually doing it. I didn't expect to actually be pulling this off right now. I thought I'd be fucking up all over the place. Yeah, pretty good. Um, book. You typically want to avoid going to the bottle because it slows you down. It's got to show you all this shit of, look, here they are. The randomizer fixed that. Made it more user-friendly. You can press X to rotate through them. It doesn't, like, you know, make you fucking watch. Uh, you go down here. Don't line up with that post on the wall and you avoid that bottle. You can go right up here. Kill. Um, I missed the clip there. Fuck, I went fairies again. Bow. Quick kill that guy. Uh, Eastern Palace is probably going to be my best showing. I'm good at the rest of the game, but it, it's not going to all be as quick as Eastern Palace. Don't touch the guy, but you can cl clip through the door there. Which one's Eastern Palace? That was, that was the first one. It's the one we just did. Uh, do, do, do. This is the Desert Palace. I believe I'm getting these names right. Good clip on the wall. Uh, if you run and get it perfect, you can clip right and you run through the door as you open it. I did it wrong, so I bounced back. It's faster to get these guys with boomerang, I think. That's the compass. Uh, here you can run, but it's always a gamble there. If you get through, you gotta double back quick to turn off run, or, or else you run into the box and that wastes time. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't fucking kidding, man. I love this game. I know all this shit. You wanna you wanna clip the bottle there if you can and stay low like this. I don't think I could have hit it better. Cause you go, you run into here and you can now you're closer to this door you need to go to. You wanna get this? To get to this button. If you're quick enough, B most won't even see you. Power left. Now I can lift light rocks. Button. Run out the door. You can clip on the door like that and keep the run going. You go here. I like to hug this wall because when you come down here, if you get it right, you can run past that guy and he doesn't even bother you. You can just tell him to fuck off, just like that. Up there's fairies. Don't need the fairies. Nah. Guessing. All right, fuck it. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm guessing a lot of running ahead. You don't need to do. You don't need to do it here. It helps if you can get it right, but because then you can turn here and you save a lot of time. But nah, I wasn't. I wasn't getting it. It's fine. You don't need to hit that bird. It's fine. You come up here. This is the magic stone to push. Come in here. This one has the key. Try to door clip. Door clipped. Much faster. You come down here. You can just one hand a. You're fine. More of these fucks. You did this in the first room. You know. Ooh, these lined up nicely. Door, excuse me. Come through here. You don't need to kill him. Avoid him and the Bemos. Hit this pot. You come in here to another flying tile room. This pot. You don't even need a door clip. You come in here. There's another red boy. Bow locked. 
for random. If you don't have the bow, you can't do this. That was a good quick change. I want those. Do do. The lantern lit it. Yep. Yeah. Light them on fire. That's the puzzle. Uh, I'm gonna grab a few safety hearts. Where are we? Forty minutes. You can dash at this wall right here and you line up perfect with this guy. If he comes out, you can shoot him. Two damage. Sword does one. I'm bad at it, though. So, like, that... It, any of them I hit is actually pure luck. People kill this boss in two cycles. My best was a four cycle, and it was an amazing luck. I was never able to do it again. Um, because I'm bad at these. The Landmolas. That's their name. There's one. We're on cycle six now, by the way. <laughs> so I've killed them faster than this. And I'm at two hearts left. You gotta watch out, because they shoot rocks at an angle. I didn't practice this boss very much, as you can see. There's good timing. I could have got that one. Nine cycles. Something. I'm half heart. Uh, now, when there's only one left, they shoot eight rocks. So you can't. You're not even safe. Above and below, you need to weird angle it like a pizza. Man, he did not take much damage. Oh, there you go. I believe they each have eight HP. Bows two, sword is one. They might have ten HP. I don't know. Do, 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 do. I don't think I can skip anything either. I think I have to kill... I think I have to kill <coughs> seven crystals. Fuck. Okay, I can do that. That's easy. Yeah, you did it. Now that you only need one more pendant. Save warp. Save warp. Save warp. And by the way, when you're playing, if you just mash it, you go back to the file that you had. Now we're at the sanctuary. We're on the opposite side of the map. Where you haven't been yet? No, this is this is the church where we started. And we had free, we we finished escape, so we have free roam. Uh, we want to run over here, and we come up here. Angles again. Watch for trees. Good clip. Uh, you can just run straight up here. What you have? Fuck off, dude. What you have is the ability to lift this now, and you can see his little gray glove there. That's why, because it was his hands before. So you come in here, you jump down here, and we're on our way up the mountain. You don't want to run too much because tight corridors and holes in the ground. Here's the old man. Oh, I got lost in here. Help me, Sonny. Some old man just get fucking lost. Hey, hey there, Sonny. Here. There's there's holes in the floor, so watch out. Hey, which, which way are you heading? I, I think I might be able to help you. <laughs> hey, you want you, you want to take a right right up here. This that's that's going to get us on top of the mountain there. You know the seven maidens. I know you're on on an adventure to to help them. Oh, fuck. Come up here, these are these guys, you can't kill them. You can only stun them. When they turn purple, they won't hurt you, but they will block your path. These are the flying death cabbages. Old man, hey, thanks, Sonny, for helping me out of that cave. By the way, here's a useful item. I, th I think it'll really help you on your journey. Mirror. Magic mirror. You can now go back and forth between light and dark world. Um, do do do. Light and dark world? Uh, yes. It doesn't do much for us yet. He gave it to us, he's a mysterious old man. Oh, that's money. I thought it was safety hard. Three bats in a line. Blip, blap. Uh, ignore him. You can come down here and run. Uh, yeah, he just gives you this mirror, and you don't really know why. It's... Did, here you go. You come down here. Door's here. Run would be better. And now you're halfway up the mountain. You avoid death cabbages. Spin dashing is optimal, but I'm bad at it, so... Now the cabbages are falling. Spin dash, you can also run crazy fast through here like this, but if you can't spin dash, if you bounce off the wall, you do this. Watch for the fucking blue guys. No, they're not here yet. Uh, mirror. Dark world. We are transformed into a bunny in the dark world. Why? Because it's the dark world. This, this, is, this is a reflection of your true self that is revealed in the dark world. So here... That guy's a bully. He's just picking on some kid. Like some nerd, I guess. He's just kicking him around. Jesus. Okay. You just... That's... I love these guys, because it teaches you that. That's what's happening. You're a bunny. Why are you a bunny? And that's the first thing you see here at Spectacle Rock. You mirror through, because that's the only thing you can use. So you mirror through. Here's a heart piece. You typically don't grab it. It's slow. Um... 
watch for that guy. And then here, we're at the Tower of Hera. The Tower of Hera? Tower of Hera for the third pendant. Uh, Boomerang is your buddy here. You get that, and then as you're on your way back, you can just clip, blip, blap. You want to do that, because now, when you come in here, the orange pylons, I believe, are down. You throw the boomerang, swap mirror, bam, you're out. Mirror also brings you to the beginning of the dungeon. That, I believe, is the map. Pointless in this. I only have one arrow, so this is actually kind of fortunate uh, for me to be able to hit this trick. You throw your first pot there. I clean these. Other people do it better than I do. Uh, but you bow, you shoot that, the blue pylon flips up as you stand on it, and now you are invulnerable in the flying tile room. Have a drink. Gonna, how many tiles are going to fly in? All of them? It's going to look like a very crude skull. Are you supposed to survive all this? Yeah. How do you, the fuck do you do that? You can hit him with your sword. The boomerang is acceptable as well. Whoop. If I'm not careful, I'm going to walk off. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah. So there's, there, it's done. So now what you do is, you, it is you're invulnerable. That, that and must that, have been a bitch. Yeah. Now, now you just skip right through this. You don't have to deal with these fuckers. Here's some, whoop. See? I'm not good at menu. Here are some skeletons. You can just ignore them. Who cares? As soon as you're done with the lamp, you swap over, whoop. See? Bad. Swap over to your mirror. Get him, get the fuck. Big key. As soon as text box gone, you mirror out. Front door. Hit that guy, boomer jigger. Hit that guy, hit that guy. Up the stairs. We have three of these fucking jackass bubble boys that I hate. They are boomerang don't work on them. You have to hook shot them to stun, or you can just knock them in a hole. You can throw pots at them. You know, you can do that. It was a one shot. Yeah. Uh, hitting the pylon downstairs saves time, so we don't have to hit that one. So we can come up here. We want, I believe, we want blue. Uh, down because right here there's a quick little you can just run and as you run hit this you want to flip them up after you run past that section there I'm low on heart so I'm not going to attempt a bomb jump uh, I have three fairies bomb jump bomb jump I did it I did it with Chris it was successful on second try so I could probably I bet I could still nail it well no <laughs> now I'm gonna die horribly uh, compass I believe Bomb jump, bomb jump, bomb jump, bomb jump, bomb jump, bomb. Nope, too early. <laughs> you try to clip the animation to blow you back. Mm hmm. Bomb jump. <laughs> These guys are damage sponges. Uh, and we don't want to flip that up, so. I will, I will give it three tries since we have three fairies. And once you kill these guys here, they don't come back. Uh, we want to hit this star, though. So... Damn. That was too late. One more go. If I don't hit it, I'll do it normal way. Because we need that box. And if you can hit this, it is much faster. Bam. Moon Jesus. Pearl. That is faster than the intended way of getting that. You come down here, blue's still kind of a pain, but if you're good at the game, you know it's not an issue, because then you would hit that switch now on your way up. I hit the switch originally because I didn't intend on bomb jumping, but there's that. Bomb, there's another bomb jump I can do later in the game that's always kind of fun, and it saves a good chunk of time. These guys are glass cannons. Fire bad. Right here, you can clip th between this hole and that bumper, but I'm going to miss. So you so. gave it three tries and succeeded. Yeah. Nice. Right there, you need to shift the the room there to fall through a certain hole to drop to it. So, so it's, it's a bitch. Are um, you still working on that thing with Chris about this game and Metroid? What do you mean? What is this guy's name? Oh, not Landmola. I always think he's Landmola. He, this who is this? Moldorm. This is the third boss, Moldorm. If you if you go at him with your sword out, he'll try to knock you off and you'll fall down. But if you go at him with your sword, you, you get stuck on the edge as long as you keep pushing the other way. So you're safe. Interesting. Uh, as far as the uh, Metroid 
Zelda randomizer? Yes, Chris and I have completed a handful of runs now. Really? Yeah, we did another one last week. Killed it. Can we play the both games at the same time, basically? Yeah, there are four key points that I can show you in this game to Link, because I know the four, and he knows the four in his game. I don't know Metroid at all, so... Yeah. Uh, fuck. Warp. I want to warp down the mountain. Uh, there's an easy path to run there to get down the mountain, but... Now we have a third option. We can automatically get back up to the mountain. Sanctuary. Save warp down the mountain. We're going in the forest. Um, there, are, there are four key points in both games that will chill, that'll transport you between the two. And they're... Whoop, too far. There are a handful of things you need to... Um, this is not optimal path. Where am I going? There are a handful of things you need to remember in order to play it. Bees. <laughs> uh, one of them is being is that you have to save a certain way. Uh, the Metroid one? In Metroid, there are three save files, like in Zelda. I can save warp all I want. We tried that, because I need it for a speedrun. Uh, fuck off. Here's a spider in a bush. Dude! Where is... Where'd he go? Okay, there he is. Um... I can save warp and everything, and it's fine. Here's when I should have grabbed the mushroom. Um, but he, his game saves, and it overwrites file one. So it has three files, but you can only do one run. So that's something we had to learn the hard way. Uh, we couldn't figure out why our shit wasn't working. Master Sword, that was the spot to run. You come out the log a little to the right, straight up. I have not really bashed yet. I'm kind of proud of my not. My lack of bashing in this game. Bashing. I'll point out bashing when I do it. Uh, I'll give you one, too. Here's the story. Good job. You got the pendants. You pulled the Master Sword. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah. But, whoa, what about the Maidens or some shit? I don't remember. This is so hot for a lot, by the way. Here's a bash for you. It's when you accidentally run into a wall. The game counts those, by the way. To what? It just counts them. Uh, we come out. Ooh, come help Sanctuary. Aye! Save warp. House. Sanctuary. Blip blap. They've taken Zelda. Oh, Link, you have to save her. Oh, God, go, go to the castle. Save her. You must save her. Dies. Uh, save warp. Save warp. Save warp. Save warp. I have practiced the non-save warp. I prefer the save warp. Link's house. Run right out the door. Uh, do, do. So we have the we have the master sword. It's blue. It does two damage. Two, two dablages. We run past that guy because then he doesn't see us, technically. And if you dash, you run past these guys. You can bash into that door. Avoid bashing. Do, do, do. You come here. This is this is this is technically slightly faster if you hit those runs. <laughs> hit the runs, dude. Uh, I don't run here too 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 much. Just this guy. You can kill him and get through before he's even ever dead. Do do do. Run. These guys are fun and easy. They tank a lot of a lot of hits, but if you wait for them to come to you, they won't actually hit you if you're looking at the door. And when they stop moving, you can spin attack and kill them. We have two guards that charge you. Swords up, rather than swords down, like what we're used to. So there's a little variety. Here's a box. Try to key dash. Got it. Dark room. Enemies. Don't need to kill them. Dark room. Enemies. Um, I believe we need to find a stone to push. Just to be safe. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. No, you two. Fuck off. Get here. Uh, yes. Key. And there's that stone. That stone would give us bombs if we felt like backtracking, but I don't. We're at seven bombs. We're good. What I need is arrows. Arrows would be pretty sick. Uh, oh, I can go to the door. <coughs> there we are. Bad maze. Terrible maze. Terrible maze run. All around. Run up here. Still enemies charging you, but you don't have to kill them either. I met two fairies. I need to find fairies. You come down here. There are more enemies that are charging, you don't need to kill them. I don't know why they did that three times, but they did. You can come up here, knock that guy off. His wife and kids, no. This guy, he's kind of a nuisance too. 
should grab that heart. This one we need to kill. This boy. I think just fucking. Ah, everybody there's does. a bash. Kind of. He's on a mission. Leave him the fuck alone. Here's an here's a room with four enemies. It's these spear boys and some bats. Whoops. Um, so you're just breaking into this dude's castle for what reason, Why? I'm. Zelda was at the sanctuary. So? You don't need to kill the bats to open the door. What'd he do? What'd the guys here do? They took Zelda. That's what we just saw. The guy was dead and they took Zelda. Are you assuming they took Zelda? Or no, he tells you. He tells you to go to the castle. He tells you to come here and do this. And that enemy that was outside, the door blocking... I should have had Boomerang for quick grab. Um, the enemy outside blocking it was... Um, you can only kill him with the Master Sword. So, and you get the Master Sword as soon as you try to leave. Are there arrows in here? He's I got some. Yeah, five in dick. There's a bomb. I guess I want that. I want this. Um, there's five. Cool. Ten makes me happy. Uh, run through here. You don't need to kill him. Bad clip. You got me. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. They took Zelda. And that's what the guy tells you. As soon as you get the Master Sword, he tells you to come here. Uh, what you can do right here is if you're good at Angle Rang. Bam. You just murdered that dude. Yep. All he's doing is patrol. <laughs> ah, I got him on the comeback. <laughs> yeah. I'll call that a comeback. All right, you come up here. You're and knocking then, fucking guys off and they're doing their job. They are, but they're doing a job for evil. So we run back here. Does that hit, make them evil? There's Zelda. Here's Aghanim. Who's Aghanim? Aghanim is the enemy right now. Oh. He, he is, he's the guy we're trying to kill. The main guy? Yes. He's our enemy. He took Zelda, and he's sending her to the Dark World. She's the seventh maiden, and that is breaking the seal of the seven wise men. All of the stories at the beginning of the game, by the way. That you can't read. Not here. I can easily load up the English one. You can. So check it out. He he goes through curtains. You slash at him. There's nothing, nothing. Oh, man. Whoa, 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 wow, look at that. Curtains. Yeah. So this is the Aghanim fight. Oh, good. Perfect triumph and stare right there. Nice. So he sends attacks at you. The first one is this ball. You stand close to him and swing the Master Sword and bounce that attack back at him. That's how you beat Aghanim. But... I don't I don't know how I learned this. It's a fairy? No. The other attack you have is to net. You can net Aghanim's magic. I have no idea how I learned this, but I know it, and it works! I thought this was how you beat Aghanim when I was a kid. I did this every time! He blue-balled me twice now, by the way. I'll explain those. His fifth attack is always lightning towards the bottom of the room. Just fucking, you yeah. know. Yeah. You gotta go to the side to check it. That was optimal right there. Uh, seven hits for this guy. Blue ball. Blue ball three. So not many people do this? The net? No. I think that's four damage? I don't remember. So people don't know about the net? Or? They do. Oh, four blue balls. That's his ninth attack. Lightning. Is it faster than Sorting? No, I'm just... It's just a fun fact that you can do this. This is optimal because it's much faster. You can button mash. My timing's bad. Don't slash Aghanim. Five fucking blue balls. Are you kidding me? Run over. You can get him. What? You can go him. No. Are you Six fucking kidding me? The world record had one. Really? There. Seven damage. We were at seven. Yeah, the world record was one, and then I think second place was zero. I just got six blue balls. That's a run killer. Stop playing. Just done. Uh, ugh, there's I. So, Hosrola, are you okay in the Dark World? What happened? Oh, you must be okay. You found the Moon Pearl in the Tower of Hera. They don't... You can, you can walk right past the Moon Pearl in the Tower of Hera. And you don't know it. So as a kid, you come here as a bunny. You're stuck on the pyramid. This is the start in the Dark World every time you load. As a bunny. And you just fucking don't know what happened. But this is this is Sahasrila telling you, go save all the maidens. Which is what we're going to do uh, very shortly. Okay. Yes. And then iframes. I don't know why. Every time. 